Hi, I'm Daryl Smith. If you're a singer and you want to try recording your own vocals, you've come to the right place. In this episode, we're going to discuss how to create the conditions in your home or office for capturing a great vocal recording. Now, studio microphones are very sensitive. Unlike your ears, microphones lack the ability to distinguish a voice from other sounds or noises in a room. We're going to need to isolate you from the sources of noise around you. Things like air conditioners, buses, computer fans, before they make their way into your recordings. Studio microphones are also very good at picking up the sonic character in your space. So unless you're working in a world-class studio, we're also going to want to minimize the amount of room sound the microphone picks up. Here's what we're going to do. Find the quietest space in your house, away from the sounds and distractions of busy areas and the great outdoors. In your quiet space, we're going to create a vocal booth that will further minimize unwanted sounds leaking into your recordings. There are a few different ways to build your booth. The quickest way to get it done is to go out and buy an SE reflection filter or prime acoustic vox guard. These products simply attach to your mic stand and minimize the room sound, creating a neutral acoustic space. If you'd like to save some money and you're feeling handy, put your blanket fort skills back into use and create a vocal booth with materials you've probably got lying around the house. You can use PVC piping or shower curtain rods to keep it all in the air. I like using soft moving blankets and then adding grommets to them to help hang them from the piping. On the high end, you can roll like a pop diva and order up a complete vocal booth from vocalbooth.com. Sure, it costs five grand, but it does a great job and you can even get it in custom colors. Whatever approach is right for you, once you've set it up, make it comfortable with the right ambiance and lighting. Finally, consider how you're going to operate your computer and read lyrics in your vocal booth. A low-cost monitor mounted to the wall and a keyboard-mouse combination on a long USB cable will get your computer out of the vocal booth and out of your recording. So let's recap. You found a quiet space, set up your vocal booth, and figured out how to operate your computer from within your space. Well done. Next time, we'll go to work on setting up plugging in your new vocal recording gear. Until then, I'm Daryl Smith for Vocal Recordings Made Easy.